difference between removing your tooth by applying anesthesia, which will aerate your pain, and just pulling it out. The difference is that I believe it should be removed with conditions. And that condition has to be applied. If I was involved, I would have shown in empirical statistical data how much we are going to save, where we are going to apply it, the gains for the people, so they can, just like I said all throughout my campaign, that I'm going to govern the people by being open, showing them empirically verifiable facts on how the country can be better and everybody can follow it. The reason why Nigerians are agitating about everything here is that when people say, let's go and suffer, let's go and sacrifice, they don't see the effect of the sacrifice at the end. But if you're going to do it, then do it in an organized manner where the people can see a verifiable plan. And that's it. I did a lot of similar things while I was governing Anambra State, stopping this to do this. But each one I did, I showed the people in a verifiable manner where we're going to land. Governance should not be supply driven, it should be demand driven. You govern with the people. Let the people know what you're doing and explain to them in a clear terms. Okay. Well, um, interestingly, you see, like you said, government governance is supposed to be uh, demand driven, not supply driven. You see, uh, when especially when in when in a democratic government, um, you know the people are not being carried along. Then it's it's not it is not democracy. Democracy is supposed to be a government of the people by the people and for the people. And so uh, it's supposed to be a government that carries the people along, that carries the interest of the people along, not just coming one day and saying this is what I want to do. And that is where you see you know um, um, uh, um, Peter will be coming up with this issue of. Um, of um, tooth remover and you see that he made a point he made a point he made a point about a, about us about removing a teeth he made a point about removing a tooth forcefully and also applying the necessary you know anesthesia whether local or whatever anesthesia you know anyone applies he made a point about it so we, we are not saying that nobody is saying that it is nobody is saying that um subsidies should not go everybody in fact the three presidential candidates have agreed that subsidy should go the three of them have agreed i mean none of them was against or is against subsidy going but then how the process has been the issue and of course, since, we, since all this issue of subsidy broke out, you know, that has been my point. The process. The process. How? How are you going to take it out that it's not going to affect the people? Adversely. Here we are today, you know, uh, I mean, some states now had to cut down the number of days their workers come to work, you know, for, a more, for efficiency, but then that's going to cut down. You know, that means what they should have done for one week will have to be done in about about two weeks thereabouts. In about two weeks thereabouts. That means there's going to be a drag and all of that. Except the people are willing to put in more, more effort as to say, okay, what I would have done in two days, I'll try and, you know. But then, that will still tell on the person, on the health and everything. So it affects, it affects the people. It affects the people. Let's hear Dr. Uh, Dr. Abati on this uh, uh, particular one. Let's hear Dr. Abati of Arise News. A member of the Economic Management Team yes, under uh, President Jonathan. And he made it clear that he's not opposed to first subsidy. I have not had any other presidential candidate, even uh, Atiku Abubakar of the PDP, did not oppose president, uh, first subsidy removal. There is a consensus that, look, it's unsustainable, it's a drain on the economy, it's, uh, it promotes inefficiency, it promotes uh, corruption. The issue is how? And that's why Peter B was talking about forceful tooth removal. If you want to remove a, a problematic uh, uh, tooth, I'm sure, uh, you know, maybe everybody here will know that, you know, if you have had to remove a tooth before, 
Uh, yes, of course. I you are smiling. Yeah, you are confirming it. Because I know. You are, the, 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 dentist, the yes. dentist will apply a local anesthetic. Right. Yes. So, Mr. Vito will be saying, if you do forceful removal, yes. it will come with a lot of pain. Is isn't isn't pain that now. what uh, most Nigerians yes. are saying now? That, okay, even if you want to remove this for subsidy, ah, you just came, the same day, you just... Uh, inflicted pain on the people without enough communication Absolutely. as some people have argued without making sure that the people take a sense of ownership of it even if the Buhari administration had made the same statement a new administration should at least engage the people so the problem now here is not about the economic sense of it it is about what comes first the chicken or the egg absolutely well, Kayo, they, I mean, I think majorly the company... Okay, all right, uh, no problem. This is still Serious Miles here at Onif TV. Please do share videos, so drop your comment, make them simple and simple. And like I said, um, please let's keep making our contributions with respect to this, so that at least the government will hear and know. I mean, because sometimes they don't know what is happening. They don't know. They don't know. I mean, that is how somebody will say that, oh, I, I don't know anything about this or I don't know anything about that. That's what we see around here. And so I think we should keep making our voices heard and somebody will someday will get to know and then they'll say, oh, yeah, I think this is the right thing to do. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye.